Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hanson. So we're going to go ahead and implement the query to get all of the mutual guilds. So we're going to get all the guilds that the user and the bot are both in, where the user is also an owner or if they have at least the managed server permission. So we're basically taking this REST API route over here and we're turning it into a GraphQL query. It's actually very easy. So first, let's go ahead and create a new field called get mutual guilds. And the type is going to be a mutual guild type, which we have not defined just yet. But the resolve function is going to take in three parameters. Okay. Now let's also make this async too, because we're going to need to await a bunch of promises. Now let's go ahead and create a mutual guild type. And this is just going to be a new instance of a GraphQL object type, just like that. And the reason why we need this is because what we're returning back to the client is we're returning an object that contains two properties. Okay, the reason why is because if you look over here, const mutual guilds equals get mutual guilds, this returns an object with two properties. So we need to make sure we shape that return value accordingly. So we need the excluded, or sorry, the name should be mutual guild type. And fields, we need to specify the name of the field, so excluded. And the type is just going to be a new instance of a GraphQL list of guild types, guild objects, okay? Because that's exactly what is returned. Same thing with included, this, all right? And that should be pretty straightforward. We have two fields that return an array or a list of GraphQL, or not GraphQL, guild objects. All right, so that's pretty much our type. So that should do the trick for that. And we're gonna go ahead and check to see if request.user is truthy. And all we're gonna do is just call the same functions that we have done in this REST API. So we're gonna go ahead and call get bot guilds. So first let's get the bot guilds. And you wanna make sure you have your functions imported up there. We're gonna go ahead and get the user guilds. This takes in request.user.id. And then finally, we're going to call get mutual guilds. So const mutual guilds. And we're going to pass in the user guilds as well as the bot guilds. Just the same thing that we're doing here. Now, this is going to return an object with our data. And I'm actually going to just return it directly like this. Okay. Now, if request a user is falsy, we're going to just return null. And you're going to notice that we're actually not searching the database for the user. We actually don't even need to do this. I don't remember why I did this in one of the episodes. But we can just check rec.user. The reason why is because this check itself will just check to see if the user object exists. And if it doesn't, then that means they just weren't found in the database. And we can say that because in the strategy, it actually already takes care of deserializing the user for us by the Discord ID. So. If it wasn't even found, then the user would be null. Okay, so we don't need to do this extra check. So let's go ahead into our GraphQL client and we can see we have this get mutual guilds field and it has two fields that it returns. Whoops. So get mutual guilds, so included. And remember, this is a list of guild types. So we can specify the name of the guild, the ID of the guild, the features of the guild. And you're gonna see that we have an error. So it's saying no credentials. So if you get bot guilds, oh wait, sorry. It's not request.user ID, it's request.user.discord ID. Sorry about that. Yeah, it was throwing an error because we passed in the wrong field. Okay, there we go. All right, perfect. So you can see that it returns all of the guilds that our bot is in. That's what included is. And an excluded name, ID. And we can ask for different fields too. We don't necessarily have to follow the same uh, query body. And you can see we have excluded name, ID. I can ask for owner. Okay, there we go. And that is pretty much it. So hopefully this whole video made sense. And hopefully you guys understand GraphQL a little bit better. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to pass in arguments in your queries so we can search the database 
by the ID of the guild so we can retrieve our guild config and the same thing for retrieving the rules as well. So I'll see you guys in that video. Peace.